The Spin-Off Podcast Network. This is Kiwi is back for a brand new season with more inspiring kōrero from special guests including rugby player, father and role model TJ Peronara. My family bring me joy. Rugby brings me joy too, but it's not the same joy as my family brings me. And global dancer and choreographer Kirsten Dodgen. For some reason people think I'm very intimidating. Listen to the new season of This Is Kiwi, brought to you by the Spin-Off Podcast Network in collaboration with Kiwi Bank. Available now wherever you get your podcasts. The Land Down Under has never been easier to reach. United Airlines has more flights between the US and Australia than any other US airline, so you can fly non-stop to destinations like Sydney, Melbourne, and Brisbane. Explore dazzling cities, savor the very best of Aussie cuisine, and get up close and personal with the wildlife. Who doesn't want to hold a koala? Go to united.com slash Australia to book your adventure. Welcome along to The Real Pod. We are nice celebrating. Foley. Oh, wow. Look at that ring. We are, <laughs> that not a small we ring, are celebrating. Uh, what are we celebrating? Your engagement. My engagement. And also this free can of, <laughs> of Amplify Organic Kombucha I was sent with some mushrooms. And what we're going to keep you? some aside so I can feed it to my SCOBY or something. <laughs> if there's a fire and you could only save Zelda, Link or the SCOBY... <laughs> Oh my Scooby's god. Scooby's definitely a new favourite. What about Joe? My name I'm scared of it. Anyway, we should do the podcast. My, <laughs> my name my name's Jane Yee. Uh, I'm joined by Alex Casey and Duncan Greve at the spin off. How do you where do you find it there, Alex? The oh. Aye. Oh. On the nose. Around the nose. <laughs> very aromatic. Mm. Um It tastes of raspberry and lime. Kombucha. Yeah. More healthy. More, but it's got almost no sugar. Yeah. That's good for you, except for that it's from Big Beverage. How does that work? Because it tastes sweet. Yeah. It's natural. Frucal. Natural. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I reckon it's got some like a spartame or, or one of those in it. Apparently you can kind of get a bit drunk. I'm drunk. On kombucha if you have heaps or, uh, or a breathalyzer or something. What I should, still read a headline. Don't give away our best story ideas. Oh, shit. Also, if you get Asian flush like I do, um, someone, <laughs> hot, tip, hot tip from the, um, the floor... <laughs> Take an antihistamine before you have a drink, and that can help. Really? Yeah. Wow. But, I mean, it's also not advised, but so I'm not <laughs> advising it. But <laughs> if I mean, you're an adult, you do what you like. Um, this is your reality TV and real life in New Zealand podcast. It's your favourite one of those, and we are here with a very special thanks to Nando's. Always delicious, never disappointing. Purveyors of fine cheesy garlic pita bread and chicken. Yum yum! I'm starving. I am so hungry. I can't believe we have to talk about Bake Off soon. Oh, all Bake those Off, pies. Oh, my God. Every mm. week I'm like, oh, bread week. Yum, I love bread. Oh, pie and tart week. Oh, God, I love tart. Pie, oh, pie and tart, cake. T- pie and tart was good. One. It was yeah. really good. Anyway, we'll get into that. Um, our hashtag for the internet is hashtag RealPod. Our, <laughs> face, <laughs> our <laughs> Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash the Real Pod Pod, And our Instagram handle is the Real Pod Pod. Don't forget to join our Facebook group, which is Real Pod Corner. Don't forget to download Breeders Digest. Oh yeah, yeah. That's un- un- sort of slightly unrelated now, but oh, that's no, all right. I was still promote it. Okay, I listened thanks. to it with Robin, and she was like, it was like she was being led into the secret world of adults talking about children. She oh, loved God. it because well, it right? it's mainly about younger children, so she felt quite like old. Listening right? To it. Yeah, right. It made her feel like a big old grown up. Yeah. So mm, maybe children shouldn't have guns. Maybe sh- should people shouldn't have children? I don't know. I don't think Just we got a to thought. That bit. I have two pieces of news. Mm. The Real Pod is currently at number 54 in what? the Society and Culture Charts. Oh, well done us. Guess who we're one above? Who? Oh. Who? The panel. <laughs> Radio New Zealand. That the panel. That's making the original <laughs> podcast. The one that started it all. <laughs> Shout out. Second piece of news, also plug for, oh my God, what is the food podcast called? <laughs> Dietary requirements. Dietary requirements. They just recorded a podcast before us with Rosemary Dempsey. Rosemary freaking Dempsey. The woman who invented kiwi onion dip. We had some of her own kiwi onion dip. We still got some. It's a good. It's a, oh, what a bro. She's a <laughs> she's a lovely drop. <laughs> Room temperature, which surprised me at first, but I think it works. Coming yeah. up on the podcast today. <laughs> well, we're still rambling. Sorry, over I know. Here. I, I just, just have to talk it's about. It's my job. I'm sorry. Someone's got to do Mando's? it. Mando's? Yum. What? 
Nando's. We talked to you at Nando's. Did Naomi yeah. had yummy Nando's lunch today in again. the real pod corner and it looked... Mm. Um, Nikki and Vivian just had went to see the Paw Patrol movie and then had some lovely Nando's well, Hang on, what? Yeah. The Paw Patrol movie? I think it was Paw Patrol. In cinemas? <laughs> There's a Paw Patrol movie in Jay. cinemas. In cinemas. <laughs> Oh, I need to look into that. I mean, I know about the live show that's coming in January. I know there was a movie on it. I mean, do you want to look it up, Alex? I could be wrong. Sure. Oh, God, this is like breaking news for me. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's a big, it's a big look for parents. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, cool. We've got to have that one up my sleeve if it does. Anyway. Is uh, it Paw Patrol Mighty Pups? Yeah. Holy shit. Hang on. And now? Is that on the films? Uh, um, yes. Now I'm Paw Patrol Mighty Pup. Yes. Now I'm upset I wasn't invited to the premiere. Event cinema film. I'm a person of influence who gets sent mushrooms for, for Hey, so tell me about it's the mushrooms. It's only 44 minutes tell long. That's not a film. It's what? perfect. It's 44. perfect. That's crazy. It's That's the perfect just a length. <laughs> That's just the trailers, man. No, you can't get a good nap in at 44 minutes. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, anyway, um, what do you know, want to know about? I got sent mushrooms. Yeah, tell me about the mushrooms. Are they just normal mushrooms? Tripping And these the ones you had balls. to grow yourself? I grew some myself from the same people, and now they've sent me some that they've grown themselves. Their ones are much better looking than my ones. They might look pretty good. Back in my day, you just got sent cans of drink. When you were what? <laughs> Back in my day. <laughs> Back in your day, when you were like working at a magazine. Yeah, yeah, like a print paper publication. Yeah, yeah I still can got drink. a drink. Xbox 360. I got sent the coolest <laughs> PR package <laughs> from Christmas in the Park. It was a lovely gift bag. And I was like, oh, gorgeous. It's got Cokes. It has lovely red cups to pour the Cokes in and then lemons to squeeze into the Cokes. The lemons were rotten. <laughs> like, oh. Do you know what that means? That means you were on the B list. Bad, yeah. bad Santa. Yeah. It got sent back from like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, return to Santa. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's what I deserve. I still keep the cogs. Coming up on our podcast, we'll be uh, recapping sort of um, House of Drag, Project Runway, MKR and Bake Off. We've got all the news of Collins Cranny and and the the Hawksby Hoskinses and so on. Just the general, just the usual, just the usual. But also, which super grossy is with child? Ugh, yuck. What? Bachelor, hang on. There's a little bit of a zzzz going on, isn't there? No. Is it me? Is it me? Just, I can't hear no, it. No, You can't hear it? Just fine. my headphones. Trust, just my headphones. Okay. Okay. So, Bachelor, Ari Jr., you know how he was going up with Becca and then he he proposed to her and then he dumped her and they filmed it and then oh, yeah. And then he hooked up with the second place. She's pregnant. Oh, no. Those two are horrible. What? Can't. Oh, that baby's going to so watch that one day. Oh, I'm not like, happy My for dad them. is hell. Yeah. That's crazy. And your mum's really boring. They'll probably just have virtual reality by then. <laughs> That's true. We can all rest easy. <laughs> sure, if I called it. Um, okay, also, in other news. <laughs> what didn't he call it? <laughs> called the, um, the hat? giant hat revolution? <laughs> yeah, he did. Oh, what a soothsayer. Um, called a hell of a performance and star in a reasonably priced car. For all you gearheads out there. <laughs> Sorry. Should we talk about my engagement? Yes. yes. It's, it's another, I feel like it's quite going to be quite a long story. I love it. I'm so excited because you've been Give holding it. back. You haven't been like talking to me on Instagram. You're like, save it for the pod. Save it for the pod. <laughs> I want to know everything. Okay, yeah. so I got engaged on Friday um, to my beloved, Joel. And Joel from Are you sure it's not Josh? Bake Off? <laughs> Joel from Bake Off. Um, yeah. No, um, no, Joel Kefali. Oh, does that mean anything to Blowing you? his cover now. <laughs> <laughs> we've been dating for 10 years. Whoa. And that time we've had three children. And, yeah. Yeah. Easy on. Anyway, um, I know, rushing into things a bit, but he did <laughs> He did propose. It wasn't, I knew it was coming. Where? I chose the ring. Like, yeah. like, that's how much I knew it was coming. It's a hell of a ring. But I didn't know exactly when it was going to happen. Um, then, but it had to be within a certain time time window because we're getting married quite soon, so we need to get <laughs> the wheels moving, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, so... On Friday, he's like, you don't have to go to the gym today. Which, best way to start, <laughs> like, a special day out, you could possibly imagine, yeah. is being told you don't have to go to the gym. So um, he took me to, uh, we went and had a massage, which was really nice. And that you're like, this is happening. Oh, yeah. yeah. At this point, I'm like, okay, today's the it's day. It's so funny. Today yeah. is the day. <laughs> Because I kept also deliberately booking appointments and going to him, is it okay if I go? <laughs> Even if I wasn't actually planning anything. Is like it okay? Fake if appointments I'll... or real yeah, appointments no, you didn't ones. need? With fake lovely ones smiles. and real ones, you know. Yeah. 
Um, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm we need to talk about, about that. that. Okay. No. <laughs> um, but anyway, so then he took me. Then he took me for a nice lunch. We had a little wander on the beach, and there were people around. I was like, Why'd you have for lunch? Don't do it here. Don't do it here. Don't do it. I had uh, pork belly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then he was like, Oh, I've just got to pop home. So, okay. Um, and we got home, and I'm, he's like, Oh, do you just want to check the mail? And I thought. Don't even ask me to check them out. He's clearly going inside to get this drunk quartet to start, you know. Um, and then I walk, I walk in and there's a courier box sitting on the front door for me. And I was expecting some hair products. So I picked that up and went into our bedroom. Um, and I'm opening the courier package and Joel's standing over me. And I'm like, what is this? Is this it? Is this? What's happening here? Open it and inside was the ring. Okay. Oh so my God. <laughs> here's the thing. Joel hadn't really figured out what he was going to do after that. So then he sort of dropped down on one name, was sort of just bumbled some stuff. And I was like, yep. And then that was that. But he's planned this really nice special day because I'd said surprise me with a special day. But he got so fixated on the surprise element, he ended up tricking me instead of, you know, like the, the Korean box thing was a trick, like a gotcha moment because he wanted ah. to surprise me. Um, but, yeah, it was just very... It was cool. Like, we had a lovely day, and it was a lovely moment in our bedroom with the bed unmade and shit all over the bed and stuff. Shit! Not actual <laughs> shit. <laughs> Jane, <laughs> yay! <laughs> but it was... Re- I, but I just felt it was very... Yeah, it was very real body that, like, he could have... I mean, obviously, I knew that it was coming, but he mm. wanted to... He was... He, he double bluffed He you. really thought that I wanted a surprise. I think and that's I'm like, really But hard. that was... A, well, this thing. was a surprise. It was no, but it was like a trick. <laughs> What's the difference between <laughs> a surprise and a trick? At okay, the end of here's the, day. the difference: is the day was a surprise. Everything that happened on the day was a surprise. <laughs> I didn't know we were going for lunch. I didn't know we were having a massage. It was all really nice. But then it was like almost like he jumped out of the the bushes and was like, "Gotcha!" <laughs> <laughs> here's my question. So when did he? When did it get in the letterbox? Or was it? Actually- no, it was on the front doorstep. He told me to get the letterbox so he oh. could run inside and put the courier package on the front doorstep. He had gone, had gone and had fake labels made. He'd like found an old crew package of mine, had labels made. So that, but Preacher. the other thing is that when he came to him actually getting down on one knee, I was holding the ring. Oh. So then I like had to give it to him to give back to me. Can I? Yeah. Like it's really hard. It must be an awkward thing to have to do, right? Well, I absolutely botched mine so badly, and much worse than that. Really. <laughs> I mean, that's not. Is yours a trick? (laughs) Basically, yeah. So um, we used to, our mutual friend Justin um, used to just come around to our house and eat like two, three times a week. It was like he was a child. And um, we had this sort of running joke that eventually he would open it. He had this restaurant that only opened once every seven years called Justini's, (laughs) which was like, there was only one booking and it was just this crazy thing. And, and, um, and it was where he would like basically pay us back for like 300 meals that we'd made him over the previous <laughs> uh, few years. And lo, the day came, Justini's opened, <gasps> dressed up real fancy, took Nikki um, out to this amazing restaurant. I got a booking. I got the booking. And uh, just Justini was both the chef and the, and the waiter. Oh, God. But I didn't t- tell <laughs> him. Because I was like got so obsessed with... Um, so and I was like, I'm, I'm going <clears> to <throat> do the proposal. Mm. And I was wearing a suit and I had it down my trousers and the, the box had like sharp points <gasps> oh and it was gosh. digging into my um, yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. And um, so it was incredibly painful. So I was like, I've got to get this, I've got to get this proposal done. <laughs> but I also hadn't told Justin because I didn't want to tell anyone I was proposing because I was like, that'll sort of jinx it. And so he went upstairs and I was like, this is normally when he does his poo. <laughs> and so I was like, right, I'm, I'm down on one knee. That's true. If you know Justin, you do. You he's can, really you know, regular. He's regular. very regular. And so I'm down on one knee, I'm proposing, Nikki looks fucking flat out terrified, and then I hear the steps coming down, and she's like, fucking get up, get up. And, and I, so I like freaked out, got back up, sat in my seat, and Nikki just looked at me like, what, what are you doing? Is this even, like she, did, it's like she didn't even believe me, so it was like, because the whole thing was like this elaborate joke thing that we'd been like, right. you know, talking about forever, and so she thought this was like further joke. Um, oh, no. And then we eventually had to like clear her mouth, and go and sit in the car and I had to convince her it was real and not like a pretend <laughs> ring. Oh my God. Uh, and it was, it was pretty bad. And then we watched like oh. an episode of Next Top Model and we didn't tell Justin, but it just obviously got really tense. 
So, you know, it sounds like yours went really well. It did, yeah. It did. And not amazing. like, my, I have to say, mine didn't not go well. It was great. I just love how fixated Joel got on the, uh, the supply. Because, uh, Too much to be fair, it comes from a tradition. Days. Like, when I, when early on in our relationship, <laughs> I remember I got him a, a garage band, you know, like the PlayStation, not garage band, what is it called? Um, rock band. Rock band. Rock band in excess. Yeah, guitar, <laughs> guitar hero <laughs> yes. thing. And like I, I hid it in the boot of the car, so I gave him his birthday presents or whatever, and then um, was like, oh, get the get the blanket out the boot for the picnic, and there's the present. <laughs> Another yeah. time I hid a Nintendo Wii in the recycling when I got him to take the Christmas recycling. You know, so we've kind of had this thing. where so I used a dangerous to, game it, you're playing. It is. <laughs> it is. I know, I know, high stakes. Anyway, so, um, so that's how I ended up. Well, there on my finger, which is quite cool. But the best bit is, I was approached by Woman's Day. <gasps> Joel won't bloody do it, though, will what? he? Oh, oh my God, God Joel. Couldn't Joel. Joel. Yeah. Couldn't even finish For the sentence. Or is he tricking you again? I don't know. I don't... And Nori's going to be in your bed when you go home <laughs> with the camera. Oh, God, chance would be a fine thing. <laughs> <laughs> Saw Nari last night, actually. Also, Megan, yeah. Megan and Ia from the Edge got engaged on the same day as me. So she's. Pip-chip. I'm pretty sure that now that Woman's Day know about that. Why don't you and Megan do a spread I together see. with the rings and Ooh. be like our special day? I'm pretty sure her, her fiance will go on in, in the Woman's Day, but mine 100% will never do that. Hire like a male model to be your mm. fake to be husband. my Joel. Just what about Joel from check? Bank Off? But I don't want to. I don't want to spend don't time with him. No. Clayton would do it, wouldn't he? Clayton would do it. Heartbeat. Yeah. That'd get Heartbeat. you on the cover, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't you need <laughs> Love Rat. <laughs> Love Rat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, anyway, that's, uh, that's my news. Well, I'm very excited. I thought that was a really yeah. funny story, and you guys were just deadpan the whole way through. No, oh, look. Joel and I, I have enjoyed been laughing it. about it so much. <laughs> I was Joel, just trying Joel to get my so head super around super. I ran into Joel, like, in a cafe, just sort of sitting on his own, I was like, "I knew this is what you did all day," and um, and he looked, and we asked about the proposal, and he looked real sheepish, and I was like, "It must have been real, like massive botch." That's not a botch. That doesn't sound like no, ninety-seven percent execution. No, it's he just, just forgot that, the words. No, it's just I think there was something about like when you imagine getting engaged, you don't imagine it being in your messy bedroom opening a courier package. He's not got the ring, and he also has not. He stopped. He did his planning right up to the very moment I opened the courier package and then didn't think about what he was going to say at all. And then he found himself in this situation where he was like, and oh. Because it's very words? like performative, right? Oh, Especially yeah. when Especially for you know like, that it's, like, you know you that it's coming. Ring. I know. This is the thing is we always knew, having been together for 10 years, that at any point, like our wedding vows are going to be a disaster because we're yeah. just going to get the giggles. Can we come? Maybe. Because I feel like we need to establish our track record as the podcast of weddings. And yes. this, this this could actually be this the sort the of start. for the um Atilda. Okay. Yep. Situation. Okay. Cool. God, awkward if I'm not going to invite you though, isn't it? Mm, I'll Maybe. find a way. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. If it's official podcast, then you can justify the right. Yes, I'll just eat like, wh- whatever it? leftovers. Okay. I was thinking about inviting Clark and Jacinda. Sure. Um, but then I thought, ah. Oh. <laughs> What did you just say? It's <laughs> like an involuntary <laughs> guttural noise. Then I thought I mean, that, get Nori there. Oh, well, I would, but yeah. I think then... then uh, that would show Mega in the air. That's really bloody... Right? <laughs> That's true. Just... Like, she's not got Clark oh, yeah. and Jacinda. But it would be very distracting, wouldn't it? People would all be trying to get... And like, it's cool to have, to like, the secret service at your wedding, home. though. Yeah. 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 Anyway, just a thought. Um, cool. You, you've been hanging out with celebrities? Mm. Yeah, something very excited is, exciting is happening to the spin-off in that next door to us now is like the biggest honey trap for influencers in the entire world, which is this big, beautiful glass house, purely seemingly based one for one <laughs> for launch events. And so last night was insane. It was a Bombay Sapphire. I think they do it every year, like a weird experiential garden yeah, thing. Yeah, and you can have like, like you make your own cocktails. I didn't understand the concept and just was drinking my gin now. <laughs> Duncan came over livid with like a tiny splash of gin because they splashed little bits of gin and then you, you just sort of like yourself and he came over, looked at our full glass and was like, is that how much you guys got? And then like aggressively necked the gin like we were sitting with these giant goblets of just pure gin. I don't understand how the system worked. It was crazy. We were in a hurry. We were in a hurry because we had to get to Sam's play just doesn't, in the home of the basement. Doesn't gin make you cry? Not me. Oops, was that yeah. me? Like, makes me excited to talk to celebrities. I nearly cried. So, yeah, it, it was a little late to start, and the Morningside 
uh, the tavern has just opened as well, which has gorgeous ping pong outside. So the spin-off we're all playing ping pong, or well, some of us were inside, and there was just a line of influencers and Married at First Sight stars building up. All the world's a stage. All eyes were on us. <laughs> yeah. We were playing ping pong, but it was Aaron Simpson. It was... Um, Levi. Sam Levi. It was Sam, Sam Levi. Levi. It was Ben Blackwell. And it was... Who's that blonde one from Heartbreak Island and the like vaguely Russian one? Slash probably just Russian? You know the one. One of the intruders? Blonde was with... Um, Can't remember. She was there. And then later Zach showed up. But we had to leave early, so we're like, okay, we've got not a lot of time. Let's just go and let's talk to Erin and let's talk to Sam Levi. And let's talk to Ben Blackwell. And what did you find out? They're lovely. They're so nice. (laughs) They like the podcast. I mean, they always say that. That's what they say. The fact of... No, no, I don't think they always say that. I think Ben listens to it. I think... Oh, yeah, he does. He does. Hi, Ben. Hi, Ben. He listens to it. Sometimes he'll post about it and be like, on my drive home, just listening to the real pod. He's our biggest fan in a way. Well, I asked Sam where Tay Surge was. Because that's why I go out, and Tay Surge doesn't live in Auckland. Dot dot dot. Yet, oh. quote unquote. We need take a breaking news flex, I know. Push mm. mm. well. notification. I mean, technically, it's always been true. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still, still, still breaking news. Get a woman's day on that. Don't. Women's Weekly. Day. Yeah. Day or week. Well, a day, the day. Yeah. I which mean, one, which one wanted it? Day wanted it. Yeah. Is that better? <laughs> Is that C? Oh, the day's better. You yeah, w- w- day, day's w- the weekly's c- slightly older. It's yeah. where you got your knitting pattern. Imagine if the weekly wanted it. Be, or was still, it still be A-dub-dub 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 wanted it. Would Joel do it if it was like, that's life or something? Joel would never do it. <laughs> lucky break. You've got to do lucky break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> coffee, coffee. Coffee um, news. <laughs> you can probably, got coffee okay, time. Why not just pay to go on coffee news? Coffee I don't news. Reckon that's great. That is good. That is good. Or Mike Hosking host read. That's my obsession is just basically oh, just yeah. paying Mike Hosking to say dumbass stuff, but I think they're very protective. <laughs> it's looking that way. We've got some great um, <laughs> cake, some great cake. Stein, get into the real I'm just yet. sniffing it. Should we go with a big old sniff. <laughs> uh, Wombat Poo, tell me about it. Oh, I just, once again, we've captured the zeitgeist and everyone's talking about Wombat Poo now. I feel like the journos that are in the corn are... Uh, they're snitching out these stories and they're mm, going viral. Right. But this is, I'm talking The Guardian. Yeah, probably the editor of The Guardian in there. <laughs> the Guardian. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. How do you say it I'm in not, English? I'm not fancy. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I haven't really read them. I just think it's, I just think it's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Fucking interesting. Keep your wombat poo stories in the corner. And don't sell them to the Guardian. <laughs> Are I'm you saying. reading the Guardian, Jane? You've got Jane's a real big Spy. thing. Going. I'm reading Spy. You're talking about Hot Felon hanging out with Bill Blitz. I was. I didn't know who Hot Felon was, but of course I know who Hot Felon is. I didn't yes. know who Hot Felon. Is. I didn't know it when I read it in our document, but now, really? I, yeah. But then I see him, and I'm like, of course. How can you forget those I feel eyes? Like Hot Felon is one of the great 21st century celebrities. It's amazing on his Wikipedia page in that little like, information box. It's just like known for. Mugshot. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Imagine if that was your <laughs> contribution. And what a what, like his life's really swung around. He seems like might not be a, the nicest guy. He definitely like assaulted like a teenager. He's or definitely something. a felon. And I and I think maybe he he had this nice pregnant wife friend on the outside, and then because he became a celebrity, started hanging out with like shipping magnate heiresses and no, no. not looking after the old Hot felon. I'm just making this stuff. This is all honest opinion. Anyway, the, the reason this is... The, the reason this You're going to get killed by Hot Felon. That would, I'd almost take that. Cause be so, I'd get a Wikipedia entry then. True. True. The reason we Known t- for murdered by Hot Felon. It, but also, like, here's the thing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't joke about it for you because it's actually, you know, how you think celebrities are so far out of reach. The whole point of this, the reason we're mm. talking about it, is One that degree. our very own New Zealand rugby stars, Julian Sevier, 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 Malachi and Malachi Fikatoa, have been snapped hanging out with them, hanging how out that in person, shoulder to shoulder with with Prison Bay. So it could be you next, Duncan. Do you, do you, are you a Prison Bay as opposed to Hot Felon. I'm just using that's both. A, that's I'm, a real like dividing line. I'm using both the terms. I'm I don't, Team you Hot have Felon. To I, like hot felon. I like Hot Felon. Yeah. I but were they hanging out with him? Or was this just it. like the time that... Um, Sound off in the comments though. Wayne from Maths bumped into Joseph Parker and tried to make it look like they were hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> AKA this. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Was it just a case of same place, same time? It wasn't as bad as us with Prison. Gar- <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah, no, he's just waiting for his takeaways and they've got to 
snap for them, I reckon. <laughs> That's what's happened there. Okay, what else is happening? Um, Pink's Bar, who went? Oh, me, I went to Pink's Bar. Oh, yeah. The band bar. Have you been there before? No. It's crazy good. Is it? They're mad to turn Pink away. What's but then so you, good you had like it? a blue drink or something, didn't you? Or was that no, at the no, other that event? was at the girls' business oh, I can't event. Keep up with you your... sit down, it's like, and it looks like a um, like a speakeasy, like it's all just a simple black door, and it's really dark. There's just a spotlight over each tiny table, and the waitress is like, "What do you like?" Oh, I hate that stuff. You hate it? Oh, it was crazy. It was real self like, exploration. And there's no there's no menu. There's no menu, and you don't yeah. know how much anything is. And they're just like, "What's the vibe?" Yeah, I was like, "What can I get?" And she's like, "Well, anything from the prohibition." And I was like, oh. "I don't know what that means." <laughs> Roll the decks in my a, head. Oh, is it? It's not the downstairs one near our old work. No. Because that's the exact same oh, thing. And they it? wear bow ties and they're like, well, what do you feel like? <laughs> what are you into? <laughs> oh, I, do, I just want to order like a drink. I felt I, I felt feel glamorous. like I feel like a nap. <clears throat> yeah. Can you get a nap? Can you just I have... can. Well, it's I've got dark. this great business idea, which I'm about to share with you because I'm not going to do it so someone else might want to, is to have like nap stations. Um, yeah. Mm. Uh, like but, uh, luxurious ones. So probably like Humbe or something. Pod. You, no, not pods. Not like not like they have in Japan where you go in and you pay by the hour type. We've got those sleep pods. downtown. No, no. I'm talking Juice, about be- almost like a beauty spa, but it's just like tired mums can go. Like if they've if they've dropped someone off for a play date and they've got an hour to kill, go have a nap in the beautiful nap place. But when don't you get that nap tension where you're like you've got fucking an hour just like get so to sleep now? So much pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Hard. I can't handle the pressure. I don't or know. You're just so like tired. I'm still just... fine tuning it. Okay. Because I reckon it should, uh, what I would do is like half a lorazepam and just like a bench. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like, well, well, you know, I was thinking of like nice drinks and foot rubs and oh, yeah. potpourri and stuff. But what kind of drinks do you like? <laughs> you have a very specific list I at like this place. I like <laughs> raspberry lime kombucha. <laughs> you should just go, you should have said a, like a vodka cruiser or something. <laughs> I should have. You should have. Go back. Just I did it. ask, I was like, do you, can you make something with pickle juice? I was trying to test them. And they couldn't. Yes. Oh, <laughs> no, you were drinking before you quite, Yeah, I had it a few, for sure. <laughs> um, our, fast, our, our, fast last minute, our last bit of real news is that Shortland the Street, the musical, is the greatest, one of the greatest things I've ever seen, and you should definitely go and check it out while it's uh, while it's on in Auckland. If you can get to Auckland, that'd be great. How many celebs did you see? A million trillion. <sighs> I was surrounded by them. <laughs> like I was just two rows back from Nurse Tony. <laughs> Nurse Tony. Yeah. And she's like, dead. She's not. <laughs> that's well that's news. News flash. Um, <laughs> should have led with that. <laughs> but you know, like it's like there were so many celebrities that they were even pushed back to the cheap seats. Where them well, you're around a, you. Like, that's crazy. A celebrity? I'm Alex Casey as far as they're concerned. I took mm. Alex's Whoa. tickets. Oh. <laughs> so no, I'm not really. Like <laughs> <You mean? laughs> AKA uh, cool. <laughs> um it was it was very mind blowing. Like there were just so many you couldn't do that thing like I was trying to get like sneaky picks and things, but it was really hard to because everyone around was a celebrity. Mm. So you'd think that would make it easier, but it doesn't because everyone's kinda like if you're that yeah. you're the only person with your phone out. It's yeah. really obvious what's going on. Mm. All eyes on you. Is it true that Chris Warner arrived to the premiere in an ambulance? <laughs> I, I didn't. I, he was already there when I got there, so I, can't, mm. I can neither confirm nor deny. Interesting. Um, but they opinion? did get him up on stage for the premiere. Like, is it, they were like, is there a doctor in the house? And, a, and Chris Warner stands up. It was great. Oh. It was great. And it was unplanned. Like, he didn't know what the hell he was is supposed to Is he all say. right? No. Like, he's unhappy. The man or the character? The man. Like being trapped in that character. How could you be happy? Yeah. yeah How could well. you be happy? The guy who wrote the the play, the musical, and the music and the lyrics and all that is, um, actually played Chris Warner in the in the musical, and he was he had his metal mannerisms and well, that down so good. What was his name? Guy Langford. Guy Langford. Oh. But, uh, uh, move on. But yeah, and out and out, my fave Chris Parker was in there as well. He, That's so he great. was so great. That's all. That's all. That was like a real review there. It was. Yeah. Sorry. Does that mean I can eat this now? No. Oh. I am disgusted at how much you have copied my husband. <laughs> you just bought. Don't even know you. Reality Oh, I've been in the sting. Yeah. That's cool for him. Did you not know that? Sometimes you know how you don't I hear it I never heard it for Every until time it about changes. three weeks ago. You. And then when I said that, I feel like that's when you guys Stop were like... Stop touching your biscuit. <laughs> Okay, let's start with House of Drag, and you, you're all over this, Alex. Well, yeah, Duncan's watched it too, right? I watched it too. I, I should say, 
<laughs> I've got 19 minutes, so so uh, we're gonna have to smash these to smash these out. But okay. I watched my first episode, which was the second episode. Yeah, because I advised you to. Oh, stop sorry, it. I'm stop so it. hungry. Okay. Um, and what did you think? Because you you hadn't seen first uh, episode. Have seen you seen Drag Race before? I've seen, I have seen Drag Race, okay. not heaps, but but some episodes, multiple episodes. I loved it. My 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 own daughter, my own flesh and blood, says it's better than Drag Race, and she's watched every minute of Drag Race. Wow, that's wonderful! It's a huge call, but um, it was very very good episode. If that's representative of, of of where it sits. Yeah, I think episode two is a lot stronger than episode one because of mostly because of that dramatic moment <laughs> in the <laughs> during that comedy challenge where Lady Lay just loses her mind it, because Trinity Ice looked at her. <laughs> well, Trinity Ice just looked. If she looks yeah. at me. I'm done. That's true. <laughs> I'm fucked. <laughs> Cause, so basically, they, they had to write a stand-up comedy routine and then deliver it to all of them, which is a absolute brutal challenge. Like, imagine ask. having to do that in your workplace. Never. I'd leave. I'd quit. Or Christmas party. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> yeah. Not a lot of strong um, comedy. I was surprised. Comedians, I guess. Because they are off the cuff, very, like... Good burns. Yeah, but that just goes to show that not, you know, not everyone who who's uh, can do some funny bands can get up yeah. on stage. And... They're more improv bandits, yeah. if you will. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But no, I'm absolutely loving it. Um, I think there's a lot of the hosts in it as a point of difference to Drag Race. Keita and Anita, it really does feel sometimes like it's their show. Yeah. But I think also when you've got, it's like brand new, you know, they don't know what they're don't mm. know what the show's going to look like. and I'm sure they'll make more of it. Like, I already feel like season two's going to be like, I, I, They'll be like us. 300 odd episodes in. Ugh. They will just, they'll be almost getting seven feet sailing. off the ground. It'll be great. Couldn't but it's, it's, it is a real cool, like, slice of New Zealand that um, you've definitely not seen on TV before and certainly not expressed so exuberantly. Well, this is mm. the thing as well, is that it's like... I don't feel like they've held back at all. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's done to full noise the way that it should be, but the way that so often we don't do. Yeah. Um, so for that, I like, give it a lot of... Like the material was pretty blue, really. Like we would be quite... I don't know when you could air that. Like the yeah. chlamydia hemorrhoids chat. It's, uh, it's probably on Sean Street, isn't it? Really? Different it's just medical. Con- different I've, content. But I feel like it, it sort of went mm. s- smoothly flowed from the medical to the... Uh, True. Not, not so medical. The one thing I wish, and maybe had they had a bigger budget and maybe a couple of seasons down the line, is I feel like it's a missed opportunity, the fact that they're all living together, like that they're not filming that. Just oh, to kind right. of Because yeah. like, they're yes. all in that one house. Yeah. So you're kind of like, oh, it's going to be like Big Brother, and it's it's not at all, but it's a very small crew. I mean, I went out there, and there's just no way. That's <laughs> 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 coming from me, a professional. <laughs> okay, moving on to Project Runway. Oh, who went home? Um, we lost uh, Siobhan Aurealis. Yeah. Borealis. Areola. I don't know. know. <laughs> and uh, in the first episode, and then Luna. In episode two. Luna in episode two. Okay. Uh, in Project Runway this week, um, it was on It was on theme for me. They were repurposing bridesmaids' dresses. Did you guys watch it? Yep. I did, I did. Yay! I, enjoyed, oh. I loved it. What an ep. It was a great It was really strong. Um, I can't believe we all watched it. Okay, so they were repurposing bridesmaids' dresses and the models were their clients. So, you know, they had to deliberate, you know, talk to them. Deliberate? That's not the word. Mm. Um, and there were some, some hits and some misses. I love Caitlin. I Ka- love Caitlin's style, her personal style. I love what she makes. Yeah. So she won last week and won immunity, and then she won this week, but there's no more. Which is what immunity. Susie did a couple of weeks ago. Judy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really having trouble <laughs> with right. names in my life. They all sound the same, <laughs> don't they? Susie, what's this? No, no one's called Susie See, anymore. My, one of my best friends is called Susie. <laughs> Not anymore, though. <laughs> she still is called Susie. She is. Check with her. Yeah. Okay. Right, after the pipe. I hope so, because I'm organising her um, baby shower and I've put Susie on the invite. Yeah, so. Definitely. <laughs> check. Um, uh, no, it was, uh, yeah, Ka- Caitlin looked like she was going to be luggage that was just going to be chopped um, Way back at the beginning. Mm. Yeah, she, and she didn't seem to have her own style. She didn't seem to be able to execute that well. And she's just had this crazy, just put tin on the jet. Well, the controversial part of that is, is it because of Benjamin? Mm. Oh, yes. Well, you think he's, he's helping making, her a lot. Yeah. Is it's, it Benjamin or Kerry? Benjamin. 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 Kerry not helping anybody. And Ke- yeah, Kerry's like also backsliding. Like he's, he he's getting confused. Yeah. I don't love Kerry. Can we just talk about... You love him. I don't no. love him. No. Can we talk about the bouquet throw? Yeah, how rigged that was. Oh yeah, <laughs> old mate with the um, 
with the nice fabric with the orangey. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call with the orangey white fabric. The Benjamin. blondie model. Yeah, she threw her bouquet. Benjamin was standing on the edge of the line. They're doing a blind throw behind them, and but she he he was like, he was like go throw, to, <laughs> throw as far as you can to the left. To yeah, and he was on the left of the line. So yeah, but he made bloody good with it. Mm. Yeah, he did. He did. But that's what I'm saying. So, you know, it was supposed to be a, a mad scramble. But Yeah, they should have, like, spun them around a couple of times yeah. and somewhere yeah, else. Sort of blindfold on Sometimes them. I feel like Andreas doesn't care. <laughs> no. I, I think or he cares too much. True. Are you going to throw a bouquet at your wedding, by the way? I hadn't thought if about so. it. If so. To me. It'll be classic. Hey, Shall so I just walk what, up what and give it to Joe? About what? How many... People and oh my god, so I'm not talking about this. How corner. many corners are coming? Yeah. Not talking about this. Are you having about. Nando's catering? Oh my god, I'm going red. Oh, I just have some kombucha. <laughs> Are you are going red because we're not invited? <laughs> is that true? I'm going red because I'm drunk and I've got you're Asian not, flush. You're not an eloping, are you? I'm not giving you the Are you married already? Morning. Have you tricked us? <laughs> I'm not even engaged. <laughs> I'm really worried about this. I feel like. She's been quite mysterious and it's going to try You've to You've got a dress, I know that. Mate. And I know that you're looking at chapels because that's how I found out you were getting married. Yeah, that's true. She, she knew. But I knew, don't she, she, she going to the I knew? chapel <laughs> bar <laughs> on Ponsonero. I mean, that can Have only fit like it? 50 people. <laughs> um, I know, but I, now I'm considering the pink secret bar and just pink being like, bar. as people walk in, they're like, is this pink the wedding venue? <laughs> and we like, what do you want? What do you feel like? Do you feel like a wedding? We can conjure up a 21st if you like. <laughs> anyway. Ah, uh, shit. Caitlin won. Misty went home. That was an important piece Oh, Misty's piece of- thing was crazy. <laughs> what was she thinking? Her <laughs> sleeves looked like that eight metre worm. You see, oh, I should put that in real I thought, news. I thought, the, I thought her sleeves were cool. Okay, they looked cool behind yeah. the in silhouette and they were like, oh, yes, yes, girl. Yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. Yeah. Yes, girl. Uh, and then, and then she came out, and it was just like wearing hound dog pants and a top, <laughs> and and, and a, um. I love it when they miss. <laughs> and a bit of knitting. But like, how are you going to do anything in that top? Oh, what, what do you need to do though? <laughs> really, a drive or hold, you hold your a car phone, keys or your get married. Yeah. You can't stir a pot with that. Uh, moving on to MKR, oh. blah blah blah. People's have you watched it? Nope. They no. did, okay, they, they, they did that thing where they're cooking down the viaduct for people, and people voted for which one they liked best. So it was kind of <laughs> God, straight she oh! just went oh! totally wrong. <laughs> I've never seen such a thing. I thought I'd see this. Like, we I always just... need to have like a I'm crying. like a special committee to talk about this. You need to sit like on your hands. Sit on your hands I immediately. Just one of our sacred commandments. <laughs> the whole idea of the real review is we all try it together. Live. I know, but we're going to know what this tastes like. Okay, let's just do it. We've all got to do it. We'll just break now. Bloody hell. So Hello. irresponsible. <laughs> Jose's really giving you Jose, the Trinity. Jose, you're the Trinity. Giving, the giving you the Trinity. Thing, <laughs> no, no. Wow. <laughs> Jose's going to rogue. So what we're eating are um, Cadbury-coated mint Oreos, which I got at the supermarket this Delicious. Morning. Really yum. Tell you what, though. Can I tell you something? I prefer the traditional mint slice biscuit. That's what this is just a glorified mint slice. It's not glorified, it's less than as far as I'm but, concerned. You know, like it's just up. Also, I How just, much is that? Mm, uh, $3 or something? Oh, that's right then. I just want to point out as well the colour of the mint on the packet versus oh the colour of the mint in the biscuit is very different. Fuck, I'm sorry. That's had the, that's had the um, hottest home baker grade on it. Mm-hmm. Jeff's eyes. Yeah, that's true. That, that is crazy. That's almost Commerce Commission stuff, isn't it? Because that's not yeah. even what the biscuit is. No. Also, it's not that big. And it's not getting drizzled on chocolate constantly. So but yeah, just I'll give that a right? five. Also, handy little packs for um, for your handbag. For your handbag. <laughs> Quantity control. Or, or your child's lunch. School exactly. lunch. Oh, don't, don't do that. Don't no, I, I like it. I'm like um, trolling the other parents. Can well, kids just have nothing these days? No, nah, kindies are worse... Daycares are way worse with the regulations than schools are. Regulations? Hmm. Can't talk. Give a kid an Oreo, for God's sake. They're delicious. And Do I, you prefer like, them well, o- ch- over ch- them? Chuck us the pack because I just want to see what... So there's some nutrients. Don't read the what label. What kind of nutrients have we got? Label. There's a lot of the energy. 
Like eight percent of the daily energy requirements. I love energy as a requirement. You've got to get your energy. Twelve <laughs> percent of your fats. That's important. Eighteen percent of your saturated fats. How much? So you've you, got to get all these. How much of your sugars is it? Only eighteen percent. So right. you probably have to have five of them to really get up there. Um, we need to move on. Oh, by the way, just quickly, I just need to. This is great. Five out of five for me. It's the nicest thing that's ever happened. And that's the real review. Okay, this. I mean, obviously, that's. We've already done the real review, but had to play that. Just going back to reality check, though. <laughs> we were um, we were on the viaduct with Pete Manu. You were just looking at Instagram and Co. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, Are you even here. We're all I'm here. Eh? Um, Disrespectful. There were prawn skewers and lamb on zoodles. There were white bait fritters and harissa spice lo- land. There was salt and pepper squid and lamb cofters, and there were fish tacos and mixed yeah. beef salad. A lot of surf and turf going on. I love this. Um, when are you going to? Like doing beat poetry on the yeah. pod. And you should have seen the hand gestures corner. Is that right? And there was just the words were tumbling out. That was like Simon Sweetman live. (laughs) (laughs) From one from one stuff blogger to another. (laughs) Oh dear. Um, Cindy and Rog used bought pita bread. I mean, come on. Or was that not the dumb thing? Don't do that. Uh, Hugely controversial, and they ended up going home. The dirty pashas. No more pashing. Oh, well, yeah. well, the, yeah, the probably videos. allowed. Cash and Peters. Yeah, so uh, that's them gone. So, Great Kiwi Bake Off, Pies and Tarts Week. Yeah, Delicious. Mm. Delicious. I was stuck. I mean, you, thought I was, you think I'm hungry right now. That was. A, what was your favourite pie? What pie would you eat oh right God. now? Okay, can I just say, can I give you what I wrote down about each pie as yes. I was watching it? Okay. Jeff's custard and blackberry. Delish. Yep. <laughs> Joel's chicken and leek bottom. Not cooked through. Looked yum, though. Yep. Annabelle's yum. pear, peach, little, and basil. Yum. But basil, I, I was worried about the basil. Nah, nah gross. I don't I mean, want Anna, that much fruit. Anna, Get out of here. Anna, 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 wow. wow. <laughs> Aggressive. <laughs> Too much fruit. Okay. Chicken tikka masala. Looked amazing. Would yep. eat. Yep. Uh, that was Larissa's. Clayton's pulled pork. I would eat it. Stacey's triple berry pie. Amazing. Yes, please. And Hannah's ch- chicken, bacon, and pesto. And by that point, I'd stopped. I didn't write anything. That but, one, I reckon. But I would eat it all. Is the one. I'd I'd lo- I love all how, of them. like, yeah. All of them. But eat all of them twice. Don't you think it's cool how, like, one of the things I like most about Bake Off is it's all, like, real, like, cafe, 90, 90s cafe <laughs> flavours. <laughs> it's, like, feta and sun dried tomato and. You know, like yeah, but what else are you going to do? What are you going to put in a pie, Duncan? Sort of nouveau cuisine. Like what? Like what? What in did you pie? just have, Jose? What? Jose's asleep. What, Jose, what did you just have? A cassoulet. Uh, sausages. Sausage <laughs> pie. Sausage in a pie. It was a cassoulet. Yeah, and there was a chicken taken a sausage. Chicken and sausages, pie. but it's French. Oh, uh, I don't know. I think you can do like, I think. I like that they're sort of gas station sophisticated. But it's but the, the thing is with baking that's different to say cooking is that it's much more steeped in tradition in the way that you should do things. You know what I mean? Like don't fuck. That's with why it. Clayton gets don't in trouble, fuck right? Because he's yeah. always doing. He's fucking with crazy it. We're trying to build a bloody board game. What's but it's he doing? the art versus the the craft, you know. Yeah. Fleischl doesn't like new stuff. No, yeah. nor no, does no. Oh, Manny. Clayton Fleischl too close. Oh no, close old to Manny the does a little bit. Dean does a little <laughs> bit because he's the one who had the weird bloody thing on his Linzer tart where he used like oh the melting moment formula, melting moment, formula. whatever you call it. Like, even I was sitting there Recipe. going, come on. <laughs> even Jane. Oh, it's, it's just madness. Anyway, uh, did you Stacey, think? Oh, no. What? Well, Stacy. <laughs> I was gonna say Stacy. <laughs> Stacy won the technical. <laughs> Jeff had a shocker. Jeff in the had a door. He had another. It was like fl- slimy cake flashbacks. Slimy cake flashbacks. Stacey, um, Annabelle. I think Annabelle had the best tasting. <laughs> Annabelle had the t- the best tasting tart, but um, Stacey's. <laughs> it's just always funny. It's what? always funny. Stacey had lovely lettuce work, so she just pipped Annabelle at the post there. Then she also did an amazing pie, and yet somehow Hannah won. Stacey, That's right. Stacey got ripped, basically. Yeah, mm. Stacey's a Stacey's bit of a Caitlin good. of the um, situation, just like a bit of a mid-season charge. Mm-hmm. Did you think Larissa put a chicken, sorry, a cock, mm. <laughs> on top of her pie <gasps> because of us? No. But also, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I was thinking of oh, what's the, the rooster. What, 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 it's Barcy. Barcy. Nando's. Oh, yes. <laughs> it must have incredible. crossed her mind at some point. She's sending me something. For the museum, <gasps> Whoa. it's in the post. Is it the pastry? I'm not telling rooster? you. I'm telling you, it's not the pastry. But, the, but that wouldn't survive. 
We'll put it in a, in a what, what, what could you get? controlled what, what, room. What would it, yeah, well. I'm, I'm going to surprise you. Okay. Is it Jeff's eyes? It's blue. Jeff had his eyes blue. Let me put it that way. It's yeah, it's his eyes. Oh, my God. It's his no, contacts. It's <gasps> <laughs> Is it his contacts? It's like all <laughs> That would be... Jane. Uh, Clayton went home. Sad. Yeah. He's a yeah, sad, sad, but also, like, he did... He dreamed too big one too many times. Hey, look, I... I'll just put this out there. I know Clayton's become a corny in retrospect. Like, he's joined the corner since mm. being on the show. Mm. Mm. But we have two cornies in this show. Yeah. That is, is a that, crazy is a ratio. Oh, I suppose we've had, have we had, what have we had? Yeah, well, the the corner's only been open for business for, like, for this year. So <laughs> what are its trading hours? Like, we should, we should really formalise this yeah. thing. Uh, anyway, that's it. That's it for the week in real, real reality TV. Okay. Can't, can't talk. I've got four minutes to close it out. Colin's cranny. Colin's cranny. Colin's cranny. 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 Colin's cranny. Can I say respect to that toddler who was singing along and dancing along to Colin's cranny in the corner? Did you see it? No. What? It was, an, it was a viral video. Can, can you tag me when things happen? I'm not You're on social media anymore. There. I can't tag you in every single bit of content. Well, then you can. I know that I know that um, Alex has picked up some great stuff from Colin's Twitter cranny, um, but on its Insta cranny, there's also a great series from the V in well, what he called the VMAs, but the um, the <laughs> VNZMAs, <laughs> That's right. um, just full of celebrities. He 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 turned up in a Lexus. Uh, he had of a course. driver who opened the door and escorted him. Not escorted him, but opened the door for him. He arrived in style um, mm. and had someone else filming it on their phone as he did so. And it was just all very colony. Love it. Uh, but what? tell me about this. Tell me oh, I thought you were going to, because if you're talking about his Instagram story. Mm. Oh, I didn't see his story. Oh, he did an amazing Instagram story that was all his shots from the VMAs, um, all the different celebrities in selfie, 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 glamorous Lexus, Lexus, Lexus. And then it was just an extreme close up on a jam donut. <laughs> Yum though. I it mean, was delicious. I told him as much. Yeah, that's. I've got a real thing for jam donuts. He's got a great palate, as but, as shown on his Twitter when he posted the next morning. I think after the BNZ maze with an open <laughs> McDonald's uh, NYC Benedict bagel, and said, I, "Do not buy this." Why? Why is he saying I, "Do not I, buy"? Is I, it because it's I only one? Why? why? There's two things going on here. Well, the NYC Benedict bagel used to be the the top of the tree of the McDonald's for breakfast options. Mm. And then, you know, they used to do like a scrambled egg for it, like the slight fluffy folded over scrambled egg. And then like, must have been 10 years or <laughs> four score ago, they just made it the same crap rubbery egg as the muffins. I love that rubbery egg. I love the rubbery egg too. But you had like a perfect product and it doesn't work in there because it squidges out the side. Whereas the... um. The, the scrambled egg sort of just smushed into the bagel more. Okay, well, so there's only one little tiny skerrick of bacon in there. And, and I just think they've really degraded what was a beautiful product, like a premium product. It was like the Lexus of the McDonald's breakfast range. The bagel was well over-toasted and it, it burnt it is in my over -toasted. So, I mean, he's not, he Was that a Graylin McDonald's? Did he say which one it was? He doesn't say specifically. Well, you've got to say, because it's been different. More, probably Point Chev or... Um, I mean, now you're the the whole one. Round. Dom Rowe. I'm a huge fan of that one. Dom Rowe. There's another beautiful one. He tweeted... I enjoy I enjoy going for walks dot 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 seeing what presents itself on my path New Zealand I heart you and then one minute later my legs are sore. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's just a perfect he's a perfect man. Speaking of, keeping up with the Hawksby Hoskinses. It really should just be called keeping up with Kate because Mike's. Yeah. Mike's not really up to much. Oh, he wrote a horrible column this morning. He can't really? even, what was it about? Not even talk about what it, about, it about, about pride. Well, it was disgusting. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Illegal. Uh -huh. Go to jail, honestly. Okay, now Is listen. Is that the thrust of it? No, that's what my message uh, to him. Right. <laughs> okay, so Kate. Citizen's arrest? <laughs> yeah, right now. I, I know you're dealing with, like, real life community, people's feelings and so on. I'm talking about... um. Kate, my beef with Kate is about influencers. Um, she's posted some, I don't know, some fruit, some fruit in a bowl. This is on her Insta story, and the caption goes, "This is just to show you some food that wasn't made from Hello Fresh, if Hello Fresh kit. I refuse to Hello Fresh kit. I feel like I've eaten twelve million Hello Fresh kits just by all the influencers I've seen hustling them. 
I turned the kit down for you. You're welcome. Now, number one, she said HelloFresh about fifth day. She's done quite a lot of promo mm. for HelloFresh in that one post. Number two, maybe some of those people hustling them um, don't have a million dollars, dollars to, you know, to be able to afford their own. Spend on every meal. Fresh fruit, bloody mm. cocktail for breakfast. <laughs> uh, they're just hardworking, hardworking white girls trying to peddle some <laughs> HelloFresh. More power to them. Anyway, then she says, um, Oh, she, oh God! I've I've missed one of them. I missed you one of them. It. Oh, it's oh, about the no, dresses. It's about like like the dresses. She basically said, I, <laughs> "I'm getting I'm getting a, I've got an event that I'm emceeing, and I'm wearing a dress that I bought with my own money. I didn't rent it or borrow it. It's, it's such it's a weird so thing annoying. to be really stoked Clearly, about. Clearly, like that's the less relatable thing to do, <laughs> <I'm> right? <laughs> like she, she's distancing herself even further. Yeah, she's like, and you know, I've, I've got all the money so I can afford to yeah. buy the expensive dress. I don't need to rent it or borrow yeah, it. And I did this for you. you. Yeah. But I'm huge. rich. I don't need to participate in that economy. I can buy my own dress. It's, it's very... It's very weird. weird. But then she says, but huge thanks to all the hire companies who offered me frocks. I will take up offer at some stage, I'm sure. Thank, thank you. I'm essentially just lazy. And then her next slide was, and influence phobic. But if you just go down to Instagram a few um, a few Ooh. photos, you'll find a little mm. a little setup of some tents, some little bed tents for a sleepover sleepover treat for uh, last night's school holidays. Thank you, time I can't read it, it's too small. Thank time to slumber time. for the awesome setup treats. And anyone who wants to treat the kids to a special sleepover, I have a fifteen percent discount code. What? Oh my god! That's a story. How can you be so anti-influencer yeah. and be doing an influence, like have a thing, it's, it's from earlier like this also, year. Also, I've seen more of those bloody kids sleepover setups recently than I have HelloFresh. They're absolutely I mean, I guess it depends who you're following, right? That's true. Um, I got offered, I also got offered, of podcast, I got offered so HelloFresh. I got offered HelloFresh. Did you take it? No, because it felt like too much pressure. And you can't effort. cook it. I just, I just but I, did I get on there and go, you're welcome. <laughs> No. I turned it down. I am now, though. You're yeah. welcome, guys. <laughs> I did it Thank for you. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Jane. Standing what up. What can I say? It's okay. You're welcome. Shit, I'm late. Just loading the page, guys. Oh. Uh, Simon Barnett slash New Year's. Simon Barnett oh. leaving Mori FM slash New Year's is happening. 40 days, 7 hours, 56 minutes and 19 seconds. Oh, my God. 40 days, 40 nights. We could just ask Siri that, couldn't we? Yeah, but she probably wouldn't be as specific. I'm going to see. We're down to the milliseconds. I'm going to see. Hey, Siri. You there? Siri. She's not home. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You can try it. Siri? No. No, no. no I've, got to, I've got to go. Okay. 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 I've got to go. So sorry. I'm okay. so sorry. No, no, that's okay. So what sorry. else have we got to do? We've only got, the one, we've only got the one more thing. The great one. Oh, oh yeah. One. Where is it? There it is. Like, 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 He dressed up as Elton John for the Music Awards, so no one told him it wasn't uh, <laughs> dress up. Um, oh. His hair was real and it's a new look, isn't it? It's crazy how just pushing your hair forward can change a, a, a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Um, oh man! Yeah, so so he went to the music awards and he dressed up. That's in his manager slash the Jupiter Project. Ah, oh, right, gotcha. There we go. And uh, and then so there's just a couple of good new instas up at the moment. Then there's him standing with all his many abdominals out again. So many. Um, but this is interesting. Where is he? Because there's some. It looks like they're moving house or something. There's some shelves either being painted on the front porch or being in the mm. middle of being moved. What's that but roll? That's a roll of astroturf. They're moving into Mike Hosking's place. Yeah, Probably. just going around the tiger. There's fresh fruit behind there for Kate's breakfast bowls. Oh, there he is. Okay, so there's one shot. He obviously <laughs> couldn't pick between the two. There's one shot with his hand running through his hair, topless, eyes closed. Which is like his current... Like, you get the full yeah. underarm hair thing. And How then is his underarm? It's still the same. Like a lot? Or what are we, like, what are we talking about? Is this the yeah, Pomsky graft? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot. Yes, there's a lot. Um, and then and then the next photo is, is exactly the same, but with the arm down. So eyes are still closed. Whichever you're into, itchy, you know. Itchy bites will... Max two ways. A couple of itchy bites on his um, abdomen. Okay, and then the, the latest post is just him in a butterfly suit. Float like a butterfly, <coughs> sting like a bee. Where's he off to? Where's he? He's got a new look. Oh, hang on, he's a, a new look. He's in Christchurch. 
Races? Oh, uh, races, probably. 20 hours ago, though. Was it? Is it? Probably. Oh. It tends to be on like a Tuesday or something. All right. So. Anyway, so there you go. That's what he's up to. And uh, you're welcome. <laughs> For the whole say? entire podcast, <laughs> you're welcome. Um, <coughs> thank you, Jose. Thank, Thank you, you so Jose. much, Jose. 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 It's been a, it's been a get well, in Tina. 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 Just, her mouth. She's got, got frozen, frozen veggies on her face at the moment. Good on and, you. And uh, thank you guys for, for chatting and thank you thank guys you for Jane. listening. Thank you, Jane. And, uh, and thank to you, Nando's. Thank you to Nando's. Thanks, Nando's. Again. It's a wonderful. Thank you, Nando's. And Three. I have a discount code for HelloFresh. <laughs> I, don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't. But I could. But I don't. Bye. 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 Kia ora, I'm Duncan Grieve, founder of The Spin-Off. You can help us keep all of The Spin-Off's award-winning journalism free for everybody by becoming a member today at thespinoff.co.nz slash donate. Kia ora, this is Toby Manhire, here to urge you to tune in to Gone by Lunchtime, a podcast with me, Annabelle Lee Mather and Ben Thomas, tackling the world of New Zealand politics, from policy to polling, from scandal to psychodrama. Listen to Gone by Lunchtime, brought to you by the Spin-Off Podcast Network, wherever good pods are sold. The Spin-Off Podcast Network.